Good morning. It is just after six this morning. Uh, Lila has just woken up. She's just already tired now, but as soon as I get her dressed, she'll be awake. Um, she slept for about six hours last night. I think she went down at half. They shut down at eight o'clock, and then she woke up at half two, which is really good because I went to bed at half nine, so I got quite a bit of sleep. Um, and then she went back down at. Half three after a feed, and I had to change her whole outfit because she peed everywhere. Um, and then I pumped, and I went, I went back to bed at four. And then she woke up again at uh, what time was it now? At ten to six. Um, this is usually the time where she will only have like a little feed because obviously she's fed not that long ago. Hi, baby. Hi. Shoo. Sure. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get dressed now, we'll have like an hour or so awake, and then she'll have her morning nap. You're getting frustrated now because you've got wind. Yeah, let me sort the baby. And we're going to change your bum and get you dressed. Yes. Look at you looking how cute. Look at you looking how cute in your little penguin, penguin trousers. Look at you looking cute with your clean bum. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Lila's gonna sit and chill and watch the news. I don't know why she was watching the news whilst I make myself a coffee and then we'll have a bit of playtime. She should for about an hour and then she'll go back down. Um but mummy needs a coffee. Mummy needs a coffee, doesn't she? Doesn't she? She needs her coffee. Yes. And we can't forget about feeding Mr. Brian, can we? Can we? This is definitely what I need at this time of the morning. Are you enjoying the news? Are you enjoying the news? We don't care about the news, do we? But we need to watch it every morning. Don't we? So don't we? To see what's going on in the world. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So we have a bit of playtime. Yeah. A bit of playtime. Boops on the head. <laughs> Boops on the head. Is the raps gonna get you? Meow meow. Is the raps gonna get you? Meow meow. Is the raps gonna get you? Meow meow. Ah yes. Yes, is the raps gonna get you? Meow meow. You love these cards, don't you? You do. Yeah! <laughs> wow! Look at that! Now, as you can hear, we are having some more milkies. Are you having, are we having fun time though? And then she's probably going to go down for another nap, so... Yeah! It's Lila back down at um, 6.55. She could go anywhere from like half an hour to an hour. Um, but she stays upstairs in the next two I've got this camera and there's also a breathing mat so if anything was to go wrong obviously fingers touch wood nothing like that ever happens um but then I would know but Luke is in bed um but I like to have it on just in case um just because just because I overthink but he should be getting up for work in about half an hour so hopefully he doesn't wake her up he did wake up a couple of days ago I was not happy I was pissed um but hopefully he doesn't wake her up um it depends, like, every day we do the same, can't try and do the same routine, but it's all at different time. And so, like, last night, she went, what, half eight, no, about eight till about half two. Whereas the night before, she went till half one, so she was awake an hour earlier. And, yeah, so it all kind of just, it's all at different timings. But 
I'm going to try and use this time to pump um, and then hopefully I've got time just to get dressed and get ready. I might not do it all, depends when she wakes up. Um, but she's, stir she's stirring now, she stirs for a little bit and then falls to sleep. Um, so fingers crossed. Oh, can't get me in. This is what I pumped after 10 minutes. My supply has dropped quite a lot during the day, like at night. I've got loads of milk, like loads and loads of milk. But during the day, like, after every time I feed Lila, I'm actually like, stop, I can't, I'm not even in this. After every feed, I'm trying to pump just to try and increase my supply a bit more. I know that around, they say like six to eight weeks, your supply like kind of sits with what they want or what they're, well, I don't really know. Um, but it almost just doesn't seem, I know it is enough, but it almost just doesn't seem enough for her. Because it's probably just her being lazy, but like she falls asleep on the boob. So she doesn't get a full feed and then she doesn't sleep properly because she's not eating properly and it's just a vicious cycle so when she falls asleep I'm top her, topping her up with breast milk but from a bottle um, and that usually helps and that she starts to sleep better and sometimes I just give her a full bottle of breast milk and then I pump it straight away after um, but that is just three and a half ounces in there so I'm just going to put that in the fridge um, and now I'm just going to wash the sterilise everything I've um, just made Luke's lunch. I don't do that every day. I only do it. I think I hear her on the monitor. Um, I only do that when I've got a spare five minutes. Uh, Luke's got a really long day, so he leaves the house at half eight and he won't go back to nine o'clock tonight. Um, so I've made his lunch. Moment I have some toast. And um, I also have a like, multivitamin drink, um, my iron tablet, and my anxiety tablet as well. Um, I don't think uh, I can hear a stir, and I don't think I'm going to get a chance to get dressed. Um, just yet. I don't even know what was going on with this piece of hair today, but it was really good with me. Um, I did manage to quickly get ready, although she did so I had to go give a dummy in. Um, but I think she woke up to Luke's alarm. Oh, I know. Um, but she did, she's, she'll be up shortly because she's stirring. Um, but I've literally just got some leggings, some socks, and a jumper on. Um, this is as about as ready as I get every day. <laughs> Honestly, I, I put a little. I say I put a little bit of everything yesterday. I, I need to start looking at the lens and not on the side bit. Um, I straightened my hair yesterday, so that's why my hair's a little bit straight today. Um, but I'm gonna sit down and drink this drink. But I know that I'm only gonna sit down for two minutes before I go upstairs again. I have to get her up. It's tiring being a mother. You don't get five minutes. I mean, I just have five minutes, but that was just to try and shove some food down me, clean the pots get dressed they're just your basic needs people don't realize like you take those for granted just be able to get dressed in the mornings but hey i got you a bit well this is how that went so lila woke up from her nap very grumpy tried to feed her she didn't want it changed her bum which obviously changed her bum and so i put her in the wrap and now she just wants to sleep but you just want her sleeping in your next to me crib was you so I'm going to try and get some jobs done around the house. I'm going to sit down for five minutes first. Um, and then I'm going to try and get some jobs done around the house. It is now. I don't even know where my phone is. I always bloody lose my phone. It's now eight minutes past eight. Um, Luke is just getting ready to leave for work. <laughs> oh, I've got the cups. Haven't he? Very grumpy lady this morning. But that's this this morning. I've got this load of washing to fold and put away. I have this washing to do because Lila seems to just 
poo for everything at the minute. So I need to get them stains out as well. Um, I'm also going to sort out Lada's cot because that's just become a bit of a dumping ground. Um, beep beep. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try and get some clean done today. I say this is a morning routine. Every morning is different. So no routine, no one routine is the same. So obviously the amount of time like she sleeps in bed is usually the same. She's not normally in the carrier. We do have bad days where she's, well I say bad days. They're not bad days. They're just, she's a bit grouchy than usual. Um, so, but I don't mind. I can get loads done while she's, because she'll probably be asleep with me for a good couple of hours. So I'll be able to get loads done. Um, and hopefully she wakes up in a better mood. So, clean with me, I guess. So the reason why I am um, changing Lila's bed is because I'm going to see, because obviously the time that Luke gets up in the morning, I don't want him getting up right earlier because of the amount of hours that he works is ridiculous. Um, but I'm going to see if she'll start taking her morning naps in her cot and obviously I want a clean bed in for her. Don't worry, like the teddies and that will come out, they like she'll be completely safe sleep. Um, yeah, safe sleep is the word. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try that in the morning. The only thing is I've only got one camera and one breathing mat. Um, so I think that I'm going to, in the morning, just try and not wake either of them up um, and get the camera in that room. Um, at least then, like, if she has her morning naps in her bed, in her cot, once we transition her, her, transition her at like six months, then she'll be used to it, if you know what I mean. And obviously she'll only be in there with me being awake and downstairs and having the camera. Um, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, very interesting to see how that goes. She might absolutely hate it or she might absolutely not. We're always in that room, you see. Like we're, all, we're always feeding that room, obviously always changing bum in that room. We're playing in that room. So she's quite used to that room. She's just, we've only ever laid her on the cot once and that was, I don't, I don't know why. I, I literally just, I think I popped her in there for a second. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm quite excited. I like. I'm excited to see her in a cot, but then I'm also sad because she is getting a lot bigger, and she's getting quite big for her next to me crib as well. Um, like quite fast. I don't think she was obviously she was fitting there for a little bit, but she's a chunky monkey, aren't you? She is growing fast for her age. Um, but yeah, so that's why I've changed her bed. That is the nursery all done and clean. I don't know what Brian's having a meltdown about. But all nice and clean and fresh. Just need to hoover. I apologise for the camera quality. My camera died halfway through. Oh, hello, dear. Oh, uh, she's still happy and content in here. And it's now nine o'clock, I think. Wait, I'm showing you the time. I think it's like half nine. Um, so her bedroom's done. I'm going to do mine and then hopefully um, hoover upstairs. And then other than the bathroom. I'm not going to do the bathroom but whilst baby wearing because I use bleach and stuff. And I just wouldn't want to risk getting on her. Um, so at least that's upstairs done by the bathroom. Um, yeah, been pretty good today. It's only nine o'clock. Baby wearing is not such a bad thing. And this is what my room currently looks like. Excuse that stain on the bedding. Lila was having a really, really bad night the other night and I was trying to get her to sleep and I hadn't had my tea and Luke came home from work. So Luke actually sat there feeding me whilst I was breastfeeding her, which was lovely, but we ended up getting on the bed. But hey-ho, I got to eat in the end. But yeah, that's why that stain's there. The bedroom doesn't really look much different, other than those wires. I cannot wait to get rid of those wires. But that is all of upstairs done by the bathroom. Um, but I think I need to hoover downstairs as well because I, think I brought the pram in yesterday and I brought a load of mud in with me, so I need to hoover that up. But it's 11 minutes past 10, and this is my morning so far. 
uh, this isn't every day by the way i know this is a morning routine but with such a young baby your morning routine changes every day you can try and put a routine in place as much as like as much as you try it will always change until they get a bit older um she's starting to set into a bit of a routine now um especially at night she's a really good sleeper at night um <laughs> she's got a set routine and she she did that herself really so she goes down at eight i'll do a whole separate nighttime routine um but she goes down at eight i think i explained and then sleeps for so many hours wakes up and then sleeps for another so many hours and it's pretty much the same unless unless we put her to bed earlier or later which we try not to we're just trying to find the middle ground at the minute what's best for her um but yeah that i think that is pretty much i don't know if you heard that bang oh it's the cat um, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to go and hoover downstairs and then probably get something to eat. Um, and that is our morning routine. There, there's nothing really much else to show you. She'll wake up shortly for a feed. I'm surprised she hasn't already. Um, but yeah, that's it from us. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched it all the way through, then congratulations. If you have, and haven't already hit subscribe, that like button and that post notification bell. Comment down below for any content you want to see and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Bye.